Graffiti vandals all across the city are now going to extremes. While some places are getting hit more frequently, others are seeing it in places they never have before. Cor Harlan is live in Northwest Portland. And Cor, this is a growing problem? It is, Jenny. Uh, it is uh, really a growing problem here. Take Cathedral School here in Northwest Portland at Northwest 17th and Davis this morning. Over the weekend, uh, they had another round of uh, graffiti vandalism here. And who would know best, really, about the graffiti problem in Portland than the guy who cleans most of it up? Well, he tells me tonight that uh, graffiti artists are going to some unprecedented heights. Spray painters who authored this graffiti likely scaled a fire escape, got on top of a downtown Portland building, and then suspended themselves by rope down to an area where they could paint. It's turning up everywhere, abandoned homes, delivery trucks, even freeway ramps and other spots that likely required real ingenuity to get to. Paul Watts took all these pictures. They're getting to really high spots, which they call heaven spots, where the kids will actually rope themselves off with a harness and tag up there with a harness. Under bridges. Under on bridges, sides. on tops of buildings. We've been downtown 13, 14 stories up. Paul operates graffiti removal services in Portland. He's here on this Monday removing tag marks left on Cathedral School in Northwest Portland over the weekend. The principal at the school says this is not a huge distraction, but it is becoming quite expensive to fix. It's worth our time to pay somebody to do it, but it is annoying to have to walk in at 7.15 in the morning and pick up the phone and call the company and say, you know, what time can you be here? It's Paul's business to remove graffiti, and Paul says business is booming. Is it growing? With it's it's, with it's definitely growing, especially in the Portland metro area. It's really growing um, out here. Um, and just because either people are moving up from the Bay or moving um, from back east, and the Tigers think it's, that it's their obligation. It's their right to free speech. Paul says only about 10% of graffiti is gang-related. The rest is artistic expression that generally causes reduced property values, diminished sense of security, and a variety of other things negatively affecting many of our most popular neighborhoods. And this is a very serious problem. Portland police have even taken up here. It is a real quality of life issue as a lot of folks in neighborhoods around the Portland area try and get their arms around a growing graffiti problem. Live here in Northwest Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.